Welcome to Lawrence, Kansas. And pay heed all who enter. And beware, these Jayhawks can play a little football too. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 11 team in the country, the Iowa State Cyclones, taking on another Big 12 foe, the Kansas Jayhawks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollack and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Jayhawks will kick it away to start us off. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Iowa State's offense will start this game off. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Red pass, it's complete. And that will go backwards. A negative play in that defense on high alert that time. Dropping back, it's back. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Throws to the wideout. Pulls it in. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. Unloads quickly. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there. And still a little ground to cover. Pick up the first. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Finds his big tight end. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. He leaves it with his back. Gets it all the way down to the two-yard line. He was fighting for that end zone. This defense might be reeling after those last two and now facing first and goal. Quick pass on the jet motion. And he's on his way. He'll go all the way. Touchdown, Iowa State. You love as a head coach to watch your offense take the field and establish a rhythm and consistency the way they did there. Everything they dialed up was working to perfection. They go 10 plays on the opening drive and cap it off with a touchdown. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They put together an 81-yard drive, and it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. So Kansas offense will have its first possession of the game. And there's a man who believes he is always open. He carries that swag and that aura of a big-time playmaker, guys. He's got to catch the football. If you're the quarterback coming into this one, you are looking for this guy early, and David, you're looking for him often. And this offense better find ways to feature him. Find him, like you said, Jesse, early, often, deep, shallow. Get this man the football. The play-action fake. Looking deep. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. He just brought some serious energy, making that huge play and getting it all the way down to the 23-yard line. That big play put them in business. Now they're right on the edge of the red zone as they go to work first and 10. 
Used to play fake, now to throw. He'll take a shot. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Jayhawks. Man, really nice job attacking the middle of the field. You see those safeties, man, I want to split them. He splits it right down the middle, throws that post right on the numbers, catches the ball in the end zone, touchdown. Getting set for the point after. And it's up and good. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. Got the quick pass. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Going up top on first down. Looking for a deep man. Holds it in on the left. Touchdown, Cyclones! And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching it. Number nine. That was a lightning fast drive that ends with a touchdown. And if you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of scoring. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. He'll come out throwing on first down. He's got him wide open. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. We see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Back to the ground game on the left. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Off the play fake. Steps away. He felt the heat trying to get away, but down he goes. He'll lose a yard or two. Well, the problem with the play-action game is that it forces the QB to hold on to the ball just a little bit longer to allow some of these plays to develop. And, of course, that gives this defense longer to get after him. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Back to throw, it's Daniels. Good quickness to grab it off the deflection. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. You know, they say football's a game of inches, and on that last play, that easily could have been an interception and a huge play for the defense. Yet somehow, after the deflection, the offense is able to make the catch, and looky, looky, this drive is still going. And the Jayhawks are moving quickly down the field. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. Out of the gun, the give to the back. A six-yard pickup that leaves them with third and four. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. 
Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. Set to go. From inside the 10, here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Iowa State sending the offense back out. The give to the lone running back. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Scanning the field, it's Beck. The quick out. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding it's blitz, and not just that it's blitz, but knowing whether it's man coverage or zone coverage behind the blitz. You've still got to know where your answer is going to be based on what the defense is doing in the back end, and he add the answer to the test right there. Slams ahead for a yard out to the 33. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. He's right on target. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. And the Cyclones will line it up on first and ten. Gets it out quickly. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a big game. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. He's looking to throw. Got his man in the middle. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. They've got a first and ten at the 34. He's looking to throw it. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Pull down at the 29 after getting five. Coming to the line looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. Now the play fake. No more time to throw. Quarterback is sacked at the 35. We're only in the first half already. This guy's got two TD passes. So you could see the defensive coaching staff on the sideline telling this D-line, guys, we got to get after this guy. We have to affect his rhythm and not let him be so comfortable back there. Right there, they were able to get after him. Let's see if they can keep it up. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the uprights. He missed it. After the miss, the lead is still full. The Kansas offense returns to the field. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they... He's got it down the left. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Rock Chuck Jayhawk! You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. Just a short pass to the tight end. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Line getting set on second down. Looking to throw its back. Got a man. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. It's complete to the left. The defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. You have to wonder, after missing a field goal on the last drive, how are they going to play this third down? It'll be a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. He'll need to strike this one cleanly from 48 yards out. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. Tied up and just about set to kick it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. They'll give it to the back. Ran through the contact. Keeps it moving for a three yard gain to the 24. Got three on first down at second and seven. Trying play action. Grab near the sticks. It's Casey. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open guy. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Dropping back, it's Daniels. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Now that was a blitz from the middle linebacker. That's one the offensive line should have picked up. Regardless of what the pass protection was, sliding or going base man-to-man -man or fanning out, you generally always account for the middle linebacker. There's no reason to let him run clean like that. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They'll make the stop, but not before they use the screen beautifully and pick up the first down. And they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position, and the running back sold it, too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and green field out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. The Jayhawks are moving quickly down the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about 
want the ball placement. Only the receiver can get it. Now on the counter. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll run play action. He'll get rid of it. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Got it in the middle, it's Neal. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. Here comes the field goal unit. And he's already one for one, so this time he'll try to put one through from 39 yards out. Never a doubt. And now they take the lead. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner will be dragged down. Iowa State sending the offense back out. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the temp. Running wide open down the gut of the field. The 20, the 10. Touchdown, Iowa State! And once he got loose, it was all over. This offense is really dangerous because of the weapons they have on the perimeter of the field. And you're seeing they go to these guys early, and they try to give them opportunities in one-on-one -on -one situations and vertically down the field. Two passing touchdowns now early for this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Throws to the wideout. Quarterback just flat missed it. Incomplete. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. Using his feet to buy time. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. And the Jayhawks send out the punt unit. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Let's see what he can do with it. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. On first down, here comes this offense. Looking to move it through the air. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Looking to throw, it's back. Didn't have much of a choice there, but to get rid of it. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. From the gun, wants to pass. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. The Cyclones will try to pin them back with the punt. On the move, it's Wilson. He'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark him down. The Kansas offense returns to the field. 
This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half. So find something really quick that you can go to. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48 yard line. Trying to find his man on first down. Catch in the middle. It's Arnold. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. The Jayhawks come to the line with a new set of downs. Got his man on the right. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. First down, Kansas. They'll throw it from the red zone. He caught it. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Rock Chalk! Man, I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, beat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling there out to the 35. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Looking downfield, it's Beck. Pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it for the first half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. All right, fellas, looks like we've got a great atmosphere there today in Lawrence. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have to find this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. And with that, let's kick it back to the guys at Kansas Memorial Stadium. Looks as if we're set to crank it up here in the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. That's caught. It's Casey. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. They created a lot of breathing room with that first play of the drive. Now first down from the 39. He finds a soft spot in the middle. And he's brought down after a nice game. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. He's going to pass. Makes the grab. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Going to run it. It's Neal. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get it down. They're going to go right back to him on first down. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. And the Jayhawks have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Second and goal coming up. After run, 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 now throw. 
Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas. This game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. Way ahead. I mean, it's been, it's been really, really easy. I better get some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable. Because right now, it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You better change the address, do something different. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So it's an 80-yard drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. The run from the shotgun. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Looking downfield, it's Beck. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And the Cyclones will send off the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets a block. He'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. First down for the offense. Quarterback on the keeper. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. On second down, just keeps firing. Safe completion on the screen. And that did not work. Defense smelled that one out from the beginning. Now facing a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Coming after it. Moves away as he feels pressure. At midfield, he's got room. And how about that run? A huge gain and the slide at the end. This guy just gives you He's just got so much electricity. He just pulls it down and chews up yards like it's nothing. That's a quarterback. A quarterback doing that to your defense. The Jayhawks will have it first and ten. Takes a handoff. It's Neal. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. Got three on first down at second and seven. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. He showed it all there. A little looseness, a little power, and he's got the first down. And the Jayhawks look to keep this drive humming. From the red zone, looking for a man. Buys a little extra time. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. The give to the tailback. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. To the air, it's Daniels. They're bringing heat. Breaks the tackle. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Well, the offense is able to avoid disaster right there. Problem is they fumbled it, but thankfully they were able to jump back on and not have a turnover. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. And he'll need to curl this one in from 44 yards out on the right hash. And this one splits the uprights. And that will extend their lead even further. drive ended with a field goal the kickoff team out there to send it away and he takes this from inside the five 
Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Iowa State sending the offense back out. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Good timing on the quick out. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Used the play fake, now to throw. Makes the grab, it's Higgins. Stopped at the 47 after a 10-yard gain. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. He wants to throw. And they're not quite in rhythm there, it's incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Back to throw, it's Beck. Finds his tight end. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. The line to gain here is the 43-yard line, and it's third down. Fires to the wideout. On target to the left. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. He'll just keep slinging it. Throws to the back. And the sophomore just a little too much on that one. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. From the gun, the running back has it. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. The Cyclones are in the red zone. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. I don't need it to be pretty. I just need my inches. Third down and inches. Nice job by getting the first down. Always fall forward. Play physical. Don't get east and west. Stay north and south. Nice job by the running back. Comes out throwing on first down. Makes the catch. He gets it in. Touchdown, Cyclone. Got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. They get him on the ground, and that'll be the final play of this third period. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. The Kansas offense returns to the field. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. Back to pass, it's Daniels. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. All right, I know we're winning, and that's great. But at some point, we got to stop getting our quarterback killed. Like, we got to protect the most important player on the field. Please? The Jayhawks will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Feeling some heat. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. 
Second down after that incompletion. He's looking to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Reels it in and goes out of bounds on the left side after the huge game. Really nice timing on that throw. Quarterback had to hold it, allow his receiver to work his route, but he threw it at the perfect moment so that he was able to make the catch inbounds right on the sideline. And the Cyclones with the first and ten. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. They've avoided the interception all day, but they were lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. From the gun, give on the inside. And he get him on the ground. He picked up about four yards, and the ball spotted at the 10. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Snags it. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. It's a one-score game late, and they've got to go for it on fourth down. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Iowa State. How about the day for this young fella? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point gives them a one-point lead here in the fourth. So a drive that started just beyond midfield, only 49 yards. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. From inside the 15, here's the return. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. Almost had the completion, just missed it. Now on second down. He'll pull it on the read. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Line gets set, first down. Pulls and throws off the RPO. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. And now on second down for this offense. To the air, it's Daniels. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And if your job is to irritate, to confuse, to hit, to make quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable, this defense is definitely doing their job. Six sacks, that's the way to make the quarterback feel like he's having a hard day. He's had no response. This offensive line has no response. Just a sack party. And the Jayhawks will bring the punt team onto the field. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shots. Opening play of this drive comes from the 34. Off the play fake on first down. Going downfield for the big play. He's got it! And he won't be able to get in as the defense gets him down at the one. Ooh, the defense so lucky that was not a touchdown. The offense saw an opportunity to take a chance and take a shot, and they executed that play beautifully. And this defense has to step forward. Not only do they have to get a stop, they've got to do it quickly to keep that time from running down. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Cyclones! 
This offense is high octane, boy. You just saw it. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he splits the uprights and pushes the lead to eight here in the fourth. Boy, they didn't exactly milk the clock on that drive, did they? Two plays and into the end zone for the touchdown. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Leaves it with the back. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. The give to the left side. The Jayhawks have a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll go to the ground. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Extending the play. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. They got more sacks than a grocery store. Goodness gracious, time and time again, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground, this defense having their way. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. To the air, it's Daniels. Looking to scramble. He'll pull it down and run. Gets down with the slide. And the Jayhawks will line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He'll try to feel the punt and bring it back. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Decent field position to start this drive from their own 33. To the air on first down. Throws to the tight end. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Let's see what they've got on second down. It's a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, going up top. It's complete. A huge pickup. He's into the open down the middle. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Iowa State. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. That's already his second touchdown of the game. Lining up to add another. And the extra point splits the uprights, and the lead balloons to 15. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with a big play, 68 yards on the touchdown pass. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. Unloads to the wideout. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to throw, it's Daniels. Looking down the middle. And he throws down the gut of the defense. It's incomplete. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking left. 
He makes a catch. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. The Jayhawks want to crank the tempo. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. Yeah, and Palmer, I don't know what his grade's going to be, but hitting over 400 yards on the day, I, I think coaches are going to be pretty impressed with the day this young man had. No doubt. I think for defensive coordinators moving forward now, you're going to be charged with having to find answers to try to slow this guy down. Today, we've seen this defense try blitzing, zone coverage, man coverage. They've mixed up personnel. None of it has worked. This guy has carved them apart. And the Jayhawks will snap it on first and ten. He wants to throw it again. Going for the big play. Catch and stride inside the 15. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. He's looking to throw it. Finds his man. It's Neal. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. He's looking for an open man on second down. He caught it! That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play called and everyone on the same page here. Going for six. Almost intercepted in the end zone, and what a red zone stop that would have been. It'll be fourth down. Fast motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Touchdown, Jayhawks! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Man, this is always an interesting spot for me now because you're going to have to go for two regardless. I, I don't know if it's now or if it's later when you score, but at some point you're going to have to pull the trigger. So that's a you decision, but nice job by this offense getting the touchdown now to give yourself that opportunity to have a choice. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They march 78 yards down the field. Just over a minute and a half to play as they line up for the onside kick in what is likely their last gasp in this game. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. Iowa State sending the offense back out. One possession game, getting late, first order of business, just take care of the football. So they call this situation four-minute offense, where you're trying to run the football and throw high percentage passes to maintain possession and bleed the clock. This is a very difficult point of the game to execute at a high level. Yeah, and listen, what you understand as an offense is if I get one or two first downs, this ball game's over. And that's your sole objective. Not scoring, take care of the football, get a few first downs, walk out with the double. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Stayed behind his pads, kept finding the space. He got nine on the play. It'll be fourth and two. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. Here we go with the run on fourth down. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Trying to get to him. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. He's got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. Looking for a man. It's Daniels. This time on target. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. What that means is keeping third downs management. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play call. Pocket starts to collapse. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. Trailing by a possession, they need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. Pressure coming. And they got him. A sack denies the try to convert on fourth down.
So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. The quarterback takes a knee. 